Hello, my name is Stuart Hamblin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's lesson is all about the ribs and their flexibility. It feeds quite nicely into the two earlier lessons I posted on breathing. So we begin today by lying down on your back. <coughs> and if possible, have the legs long. I'm just going to take a bit of support behind the back of my head just to help to create length in the, in the neck muscles. <clears throat> and then uh, take a moment to notice the contact into the floor. Because we're thinking about the ribs in to, uh, today in particular, think about how you sense the ribs making contact, where you sense the ribs making contact, and then please bring your legs to standing and notice how that too changes the contact of the ribs. So I can feel more of my ribs sitting down into the mat with the legs bent. And then please lengthen the legs again and roll the head a little bit from one side to the other. Just looking for a very easy range of movement, asking the question as ever, how is it for me today to roll the head to the right, say compared to the left? Once you've done that, please bring both legs to standing and then draw your attention to your left arm and begin to slide the left arm a little bit away from you and towards you. So as I'm sliding the arm, I'm thinking of keeping the wrist and the hand nice and soft, so I'm not grabbing for something. And this movement of the arm, you can perhaps begin to feel, is really happening from the shoulder, how the shoulder blade and glide a little bit up and a little bit down. And as you're doing it, noticing how the ribs here in the armpit area can soften to help reach the arm further. If you keep the ribs very held, very stiff, then the arm movement will be interfered with by the ribs. Whereas if you let the ribs soften, it can enable you to move the arm a little bit further and more easily. And then pause and bring your attention to your right arm and do the same thing. So just thinking of sliding the shoulder away from the ear and towards the ear, away from the ear and towards the ear. You might find the head rolling as you're sliding the arm up and down, but see if you can just keep the head resting in the centre with the jaw nice and relaxed. So you begin then to get a nice lengthening feeling in the neck muscles. And then because we have two arms, let's combine this two movement of one shoulder sliding away from the ear as the other slides away uh, down. So one shoulder up to the ear as the other slides down. Forget, forgot where I was for a moment there. Um, and you'll get this nice seesaw effect uh, in, the, in the ribs. So left ribs are closing as the right ones open and vice versa. So that you can begin to think of the movement actually being generated from your centre. We looked at something very similar in the second breathing lesson. Now pause and wrap your right arm over the head. So not behind the head but over the top of the head. So the fingertips of the right hand are just sort of above the, um, the top of the left, left ear. Keep the elbow resting out to the side, the right elbow. And see if you can begin to slide your head a little bit to the right 
and back to centre. I'll get rid of this pad completely. So you slide the head a little bit to the right and back to centre. Now be careful that you're not just doing this in the, in the neck here. You can perhaps see how my shoulders, the left shoulder is sliding up, the right shoulder is sliding down, so that my chest is participating in the movement. And then wherever you get to, pause there, make sure your face is looking towards the ceiling and send the breath into the left hand side of the chest. Think of the breath, your inhalations, filling the whole of the left side, so creating length and width and depth in the whole of the right hand side, all the way up towards the shoulder and the ear, the neck, and all the way down towards the pelvis. As if you're using the breath to create space between the ribs to push out towards the left. And as we explored in the breathing lessons, think not just of length, but depth towards the ceiling and down towards the floor. And then width from the midline out to the side. And once you've spent a few breaths exploring that, see if you can also think of length in the right hand side too. So just as we did before, creating length and width and depth in both sides of the chest with your normal breath, giving the breath permission to reach into all areas. And once you've explored that, bring the head back to centre and then just see, can you slide the head once more to the right a few times, keeping the face looking towards the ceiling? And maybe you've discovered that you can take the head a bit further without strain. And then come back to the middle. Just take a moment to rest and roll the head a little bit from side to side to see if that's made a difference. And then please bring the right arm over the top of the head again. Bring your left leg to standing and then slide the head once more to the, to the right. So again, just to remind you, it's not just the neck that you're trying to involve, but the chest too and the sliding of the head to the right. And stay there. Bring your attention to your easy breath again. Explore the contours of this position with the breath. And then see if you can begin to press into the left foot my mistake, see if you can press into the right foot so as to roll the pelvis to the left and then you let it come all the way back down again. Release the effort and then press into the foot once more to roll the pelvis to the left. As you're pressing into the foot, try and keep the knee, the right knee, over the foot. In other words, don't let it tilt into the inside. And see also if you can think of the thigh lengthening away from you as you press into the foot. You'll feel all sorts of things going on. One of the things I feel is this delicious opening in the hip joint. If I keep the knee looking towards the ceiling, feel that opening in the hip joint. But then also, interestingly, that pelvis as it rolls to the side, to the left hand side, brings weight and pressure and space into these ribs on the left hand side. Just breathing easily. And then once you've explored this strange movement in this position, allow the head and chest to come back to center. Let the leg go long for a second, just rest.
and then once more roll the head and eyes a little bit from one side to the other. And then bring your right hand over the top of the head again. Slide the head and shoulders to the right a few times just to test that movement. And this time bring your left leg to standing. Don't have the foot too close to the right leg, have it a little bit out to the side. And explore pressing down into the left foot so as to roll the pelvis to the right. And it's an interesting position this, because it's bringing a different kind of twist into the, into the ribs. I can feel how my right ribs are rolling down into the floor, the right hand side of the chest, and making sure that the tempo of the movement doesn't interfere with your breath, still keeping the head and eyes looking towards the ceiling. My left shoulder is heavy. You can feel how the breastbone is twisting, twisting, changing shape as I press into the foot. And then leave it alone, carefully bring yourself back to centre. Notice the contact of the chest and the ribs into the floor. And again, just roll the head from one side to the other. Now, bring your left hand over the top of the head, bring the two legs to standing, and then explore tilting your head and shoulders to the left and back to centre. Allow the right shoulder to slide up as you take the head to the centre and that will help the ribs on the left, right hand side open. And then stay bent over to the left and then use the breath again. So you reach with the inhalation into the right hand side of the chest to create length and width and depth. Really allowing the breath to reach into that upper right hand corner of the chest. And once you've allowed the breath to be in the right hand side of the chest, then shift the focus to the left hand side of the chest too, and see if you can create this sense of length and width and depth in the left hand side of the chest. And then take the attention to both sides of the chest to create length and width and depth. And then leave it alone, come back to centre, bring the arms back down by the side and let the legs go long. Such a nice feeling to free, to feel the freedom in the rolling of the head. Now pause, bring your left hand over the top of the head again and slide the head and the chest to the left and stay there. Bring your left leg to standing and explore pressing down now into the left foot so as to roll the pelvis to the right. You want to try and make sure you're keeping the knee looking towards the ceiling so it's not tilting in and, and feel the connection of pressing into the floor to roll the pelvis to the right. 
once again, if you keep the knee looking at the ceiling, you get this delicious opening in the groin or the hip joint on the left hand side. And you'll feel this the shape that can be created by the movement in the in the chest. The I feel more intensely the ribs on the left hand side coming closer together but a real sense of opening in the ribs on the right hand side. In other words, the ribs are doing something very different on the left hand side to the ribs on the right hand side. I feel my breastbone, the bottom tip of the breastbone spiraling off to the right as the upper part spirals to the to the left an area that in many people is um, often without movement at all now pause let the legs go long bring yourself back to center <clears throat> and then roll the head and eyes from one side to the other Bring the left arm over the top of the head again. Once more, slide everything, the head, the shoulders, the chest to the left a few times. Just see how that goes. Is it any clearer, the side bending? And then bring your right leg to standing. Find a good stable position for the foot and then begin to press into the foot to roll if you can pelvis to the left. It's a really interesting configuration movement this. I just want to remind you that you're not trying to force anything. I'm probably going a little bit too quickly with the movements. I should slow it down. So you really can feel how the pushing down into the foot rolls the pelvis and brings certain ribs on the left hand side more clearly down into the floor, presses them down into the floor, creating therefore movement in certain parts of the spine. And again I feel that really interesting spiralling movement in the breastbone. Now pause Bring yourself back to centre, let the legs go long and once more just roll the head and eyes a little bit from one side to the other. And then pause, <clears throat> bend the knees and then please come to lie on your front. Again, this Lying on the front position for many people is not so comfortable. You can always end the lesson there uh, and focus just on the movements we've been doing. But if you are able to lie on the front, please come and lie down on the, on the front. Take my glasses off. Now, have your um, legs a comfortable distance apart. And then please rest your forehead on the back of the right hand or on the palm of the on the palm of the hand. So forehead or back of the back of, forehead on the palm or the back of the hand. And then stand your left arm in a press up type position. So the elbows bend, the elbows towards the, the ceiling. And then see could you slide your head and chest a little bit to the right and back to centre. To the right and back to centre. And you'll probably notice how my hand, left hand, is just helping me a little bit to do that. And then the next time you are to the right, stay there and then lengthen your left arm away from you. 
and just send the breath to the left hand side of the chest. So I'm breathing all the way into the left hand side. Thinking of that breath creating length from the shoulder to the pelvis. And as before, width to the sides and to the midline. And depth, depth down towards the floor and towards the ceiling. And then once you've done that, think of the length in the right hand side of the chest too. So you think of the length in the right hand side, the, the, the creating length and width and depth. And then to both sides of the body. Now once you've done that for a few breaths, just bring yourself back to centre. Take a rest if you need to. You can just roll the pelvis a little bit from side to side to ease any tension in the lower back. And then pause. Once more, bring your forehead into the palm of the right hand or onto the back of the hand. Have your left hand in this press-up position. And once again, see if you can go to the right and stay there. And suddenly I'm able to go so much further just as a result of that variation. Once again, lengthen your left arm away from you. And then you can also slide that left arm a little bit over to the right. And bring your attention to your breath again. So never strain, well in any Feldenkrais lesson, but particularly here, just really come back to your breath. Creating length and width and depth. And then see, could you, could you begin to take your right leg a little bit over to the right, just a little bit over to the right and then keep it there, wherever you get to is fine and then see could you bring your left leg over to the right, to, to the right as well and wherever you get to stay but don't, please don't strain to do this. And then send the breath to that left hand side. Think of the breath reaching all the way into the back, the buttock and down the leg. And all the way into the ribs at the, um, the, at the back and to the front. Think of creating length from the toes to the fingertips from the breath. And then think of the breath on the right hand side too. Creating width and depth. And then both sides of the body. Use the breath to create space and width and depth. And then very carefully bring yourself back to centre and take a rest. So, you can say resting on the front, I'm just going to come onto the back for a moment just to see how that feels and to also face the camera. And then just roll the head a little bit from side to side. So I'm beginning to get that lovely feeling I had at the end of the second breathing lesson that my head could almost just roll off the spine around the, the room. And I feel 
maybe you feel the same, that my left side, of course, feels a lot longer, I feel like I'm a banana, a um, lot, lot, lot longer than my right hand side. Just spend a moment on the back, just thinking of the breath coming into the both sides. And then please bend the knees and come onto the front so that we can do the other side. So, <clears throat> have the forehead resting on the back of the left hand or in the palm of the hand if that's possible for you. So I'm looking down at the floor, have my right hand in a press-up type position and I'm just going to explore taking my chest and head to the left and then come back. Just clearing the floor enough to reduce friction. Just seeing what's it like. And then stay there. You can lengthen the right arm away from you. And then bring the attention to your inhalations on the right hand side. All the time thinking of the breath creating length and width and depth. And then bring your attention to the left side and use the breath to create length in the left side again. And then both sides of the chest, both lungs. Think of the breath reaching down to the floor, into the back, towards the ceiling, all the way up to the fingertips and down to the toes. And then leave that alone, come back to centre for a moment, and again just take a, a rest. Roll the pelvis again a little bit from side to side, just to ease off any tension in the lower back. And then um, bring your forehead onto the palm of the hand or the back of the hand again, the left hand. Have the right hand in a press-up position. And then begin to take your chest, your head to the left again. And stay there. See if you can lengthen the right arm. Maybe sweep that arm over to the left a little bit. Breathing into that right hand side now in particular to create length and opening and space. And then explore taking your left leg a little bit to the left and back to centre. And then stay with the leg over to the side, breathing into the right hand side to create length and width and depth. And then see, can you take the right leg over to the left too? So it's quite a strong position there, so do be careful and see if you can breathe into that right hand side. Into the upper part of the chest, the armpit area, the breath wrapping to the spine. And then bring your attention to the left hand side too creating length of the, the breath all the way up to the ears and then both sides of the chest and then carefully bring yourself back to centre just try side bending to the left a few times and then carefully 
leave it alone and kind of rest on the back again. So keep the, I would keep the knees bent up when you come onto the back just in case you've got any tension in the lower back. And then when you're ready, allow the legs to go long. Notice I can feel these ribs, lower ribs, wanting to now rest down into the floor. Whereas when I started the lesson, they're a little bit more lifted. Oh, I can feel them resting down. I feel flatter and longer on the, on the floor. And then please just roll the head again a little bit from one side to the other. And then bend the knees, roll to the side, come up to sit, and then eventually to stand, just to explore the effects of the lesson. So I've gone through that lesson at a reasonable pace. If I was doing it on my own at home, I would have slowed it down, and I'd encourage you to maybe slow the movements down, to take your time to explore the, the breath. The movements themselves are not so important. They do wonderful things to the spine and to the ribs and to the chest. The most important thing is to use, explore this ability of the breath and your awareness of the breath to create change in the, in the system. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions or any comments please leave them in the comment section below. If you tried the lesson and enjoyed it, please let me know. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, then please hit the subscribe button.